Hello, welcome to Portfolio, podcast about unreleased fresh tracks from Portugal. Um, today we have a nice selection of Deep House, Davi Star, first track is by Sound Dealer. And later on, um, Bernardo Mota will join me here for a chat and hopefully play some tracks from this machine. Thank you. 
first half of the podcast, um, last track by Acid Cell. So, welcome, Bernardo. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. And you? I'm great. Good to know. I'm great. Let's go that way, then can we see yeah. each other? Yeah, Bernardo, thanks for coming to the podcast. Thank you and for inviting me. Yeah, you're welcome. It's not that common huh? for people to invite me, but uh, thank you. <laughs> I'm kidding. You have to speak in the microphone okay, like that. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Like this? Can turn it a bit? Okay. I'll turn. Okay. Like that would work. Okay, yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Pleasure to have you here. Um, we never met before, actually. No, it's this funny. Is the <laughs> it's the first time. <laughs> You're sending me we tracks since like almost I started with the podcast like three years ago. Three years ago? ago? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And finally we met and here. It is funny because we live in the same city. Yeah, and we live in the same city. <laughs> well, it's huge now. Yeah, <laughs> it is. But yeah, and when you send me, <coughs> sorry, no worries. When you send me these tracks, I was, I was wondering who's that dude, you know, like like sending me this kind of perfect old school house, '90s yeah. garage house stuff. Like it's I was, my, like, it's my okay. vibe. Yeah, I was wondering where is this coming from. Yes. And you send me more. I was checking a bit. There is a collective, also you involved. Uh, Yes, it's called Diversity Collective. Diversity. Yes. Um, they throw sometimes a few parties, but I, they are more focused in releasing some uh, some uh, tracks from Portuguese producers. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they they are starting their project. It's not like a big thing already, but they are trying to to push it a little. Yeah. Uh, since the last uh, three four years. All right, uh, so it's, it's going. It's going well. Is it a, well. a label? Uh, it is a label. It is a diversity. It it, it is a, a collective. Uh, they 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 do everything. They they throw parties. They already tried galleries. They also mixed it. They also threw some galleries with DJ parties. So All right. it's a bit of everything related to music and art uh, in general. So and who who's part of that collective? Uh, actually, we have a guy here called Amaral. He's right here. <laughs> Hello. Okay. What's, what's your name? Pedro. 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 So you're also a member of Diversity. Yes, yes. I'm one of the co-founders of the of the brand. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it started like uh, four years ago. Uh, as Bernardo said, we we started as uh, start started was uh, doing events uh, gathering uh, pr um, Lisbon producers and actually uh, producers that are based in Portugal uh, not only Portuguese yeah and uh, since then uh, since COVID actually we we focused our efforts in uh, being a label starting releasing music and, uh, and yeah that's been our main work since then yeah. nice work nice work so far what is um, the next thing coming on diversity? Uh, this past year we've been focusing more, I mean in the beginning it was more various artists albums. Yeah. Uh, nowadays we're focusing uh, our energy in uh, individual EP records and uh, promoting and sharing um, uh, uh, tracks and uh, individual EPs from uh, from artists uh, based here in Portugal and worldwide, actually. Also, yeah. can you tell me a few names? Uh, Bernardo. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Jamais, jamais moi. Okay. Um, cool. Black Pomade, Christian from Italy, also. Right. Uh, some people from the north, from Porto, Andy Cash from uh, Homemade Sounds. All right. Uh, Luis Bravo from Azores, Great also guy. really nice Great one. Guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, the rest is mostly from uh, UK also, a few guys, South yeah, South America also, uh, yeah, it's been... It's a bit of everything. Yeah. All right, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Cool, good to, good to hear yes. about your collective, yeah, sounds, it's sounds amazing. Um, it's still young, but it promises. Yeah. With time and passion. Yeah, we have time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No rush. No rush to do things. Yeah, the um, regarding the passion, like like so I was curious, um yeah, because as I said, like it was a bit of a surprise having obviously 
younger generation mm -hmm. producing these 90s house stuff mainly not all, all of it I heard no, a lot no. of your stuff I, but I have a bit of everything yeah yeah I a guess. bit of everything but anyway it was a surprise for me and uh, how, how do you g g get into music or how, how do you start making music uh, yeah it, it all started with uh, classical music uh, I started to learn classic guitar all right but classic. I uh, <laughs> Like classic, not, yeah, not classic. flamenco. No, or no, no. <laughs> Actually, I learned a bit of, of flamenco as well. <laughs> But um, quickly I changed to indie rock and rock. And uh, yeah, the, the journey started there. Um, I actually had an indie rock band. Uh, but Interesting. Yeah, but it was a long time ago. <laughs> but it, it all changed when I first uh, listened to, the, to, to house music or electronic music in general. Uh, it was like a click in my mind All right. and I, I needed to change my, my style and, and start, start wondering how, how, how can I produce this, that kind of, yeah, uh, yeah, of yeah. music because I only knew the, the acoustic way of producing music. So How, how did that happen like, that you suddenly discovered house music? Like um, actually, it, it is a, a cheesy story. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I like it. It was uh, like a, a cousin of mine that Uh, when I was like 12, he gave me a CD of some some guy from the south of Portugal with a mixtape of house music. What's his name? I, uh, <laughs> I don't I, remember. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he gave me that that CD, um, and I had it since since then, and I listened to it from like 12 years old to 16. And I, every time I wanted like to hang out with friends I put that CD they, uh -huh. they also never listened to that kind of music so yeah. it was like a new thing but yeah it started there and I since then I, I started searching for more music related to that kind of, of sound and uh, yeah the journey started there I I download FL studio and <laughs> and then <laughs> it's all story nice one FL studio yeah, nice, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's that's how it started, basically. But besides FL Studio, you also work with oh the, yeah, uh, with this machine more here recently. Yeah, more recently, I bought this this Yamaha, uh, which is my best friend nowadays. I can imagine. Yeah, yeah. it's a cult classic from the from the 90s by Yamaha. It is. Like when the started to have this groove box thing yes. and it was a uh, Yamaha's first attempt it to make a proper groove box and it is a proper one it's very underrated I it is again I was surprised that you used that one but yeah. it explains a bit I did a quick uh, quick no uh, uh, a long research before buying one yeah uh, but yeah also a friend a friend of mine who really understands about this shout out to Benny Yeah. Uh, he he advised me to buy this one, and yeah, I couldn't be more happy because this is a, like a real a proper machine with a real clean audios and so samples. Yeah. And so uh, for this is like a, for your workflow. This is like an essential piece. Like this is where you start the tracks. It's not for me. It's not perfect because uh, like in a live act, I cannot mix one track to another, but. Uh, how do I explain? Um, for my style, it's perfect. Yeah. But to give a proper show, I think it's not perfect. But I, I hope people understand. Oh. And uh, you need a second one yeah. for a show. <laughs> 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 I'll try to find <laughs> one. Maybe in I five think years. Still easy to not not so easy to find, but yeah, yeah. yeah. It's no, uh, but for now, it's it's what I want. Yeah. I can. I'm I'm already used to it, which which was great and uh, yeah it's it's my best friend nowadays in the studio you mm, you start yeah. with that yeah uh, yeah yeah, yeah yeah I have to look a bit what yeah, did yeah, I actually wanted time. to ask you <laughs> take your time um, well later on um, Bernardo is trying to play a bit from that machine we still have to figure out if it's connected correctly we couldn't make a sound yeah. check but we will try soon um, yeah Again, coming back to when when um, I discovered you, never heard of you before. Even these days, don't 
that doesn't mean it's not a, doesn't mean anything. Didn't see you that mm -hmm. much around in Lisbon, playing in the usual places and stuff. So your collective is a bit like a collective on mm -hmm. the side. But anyway, I'd like to ask you, how do you see the um, electronic music scene in Portugal, and if uh, you have anything to say to that? <laughs> like I think that's a your, tricky question. Your vision. It's tricky, I know. But uh, if you have nothing to say, no, it's good. But uh, I think you happily, um, our community is growing, and I think uh, we are starting to, to have more people coming to house parties and the electronic parties as well. And... Uh, uh, every day we, we got more different groups or collectives throwing these parties yeah. and uh, also we have uh, more multicultural people coming to Lisbon which yeah. is great yeah. and I think that's, that's uh, the reason for it does, uh, that, but does, yeah, does that make a difference like that more yes. foreigners are here more different cultural backgrounds yes you think yeah I think yeah, so yeah, too yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the only thing I think that's not that good is that uh, but it, we can do nothing about it. It's uh, related to marketing and music and social behavior as well. Because uh, Explain. <laughs> uh, I mean, like nowadays uh, there are a lot of parties that are not really focused on the music. They are focused yeah, on true. trends yes. and uh, socials and yeah. marketing. Yeah, 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 and yeah. I think that that also that's that's not good for the community as well. Well, it's up to the community to change that. Yes. Like, I'm, uh, I'm not uh, saying I, I'm trying to change. I'm just saying I, I will expect people will do it. And I, yeah. I hope to, to make a difference, but more related to production. All right, all right. Yeah. yeah, but I think we can slowly change a bit. Yeah. Like, like, I think important is that, that because Lisbon and uh, Portugal has a, there's already proof. Like, I uh, played many podcasts. With, I have a list of roughly 80 producers all over Portugal yeah. sending me tracks. So a there's lot. a lot of people. The the um, perception in other countries getting better but mm -hmm. the, the, the scene is way bigger than people think and I think what is important that people interact the different groups collectives mm -hmm. producers interact a bit more with each other listen to each other yes sir. that's why I'm doing this podcast also like to and yeah just to showcase what is there you know yeah yeah, yeah. it is important so keep on doing it and thank we will get you better too. I'm sure you gotta keep doing it before we check out that machine, okay. like uh, last question, do you have a question on me? Um, yeah. <laughs> Ask. When can we do a collab? A collab? Yeah. As soon as possible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's do it then. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. It's recorded. Yeah, it's recorded, <laughs> of course, man. And, and handshaken and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's see what we have here. I think I have to make some switchy thing to keep get this running. Let's see. Can you start? Sorry, I gotta get my book, my little book. Ah, okay. He's gonna get his book. Okay. Coming back. I mean, so we have to use this mic. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe just start that machine and we see if, it, uh, if you can have some sound. Uh, needs a bit. Okay, it's running. So let's see if you have something going. Is the volume up? Hmm, shit. Doesn't work, doesn't work. Doesn't work. Hmm. What a shame. I don't know what to do. Doesn't work. I don't know. No. 
no idea how to connect this right now. Well, we have a plan B, right? Yeah, it's a shame. We, we didn't sound check before, I'm sorry. We don't get it working, we doesn't have, don't have the right cables, whatever. But we have a plan B. Uh, play some more tracks of Bernardo. Like some, oh, he sent me a big package, and yeah, I'm gonna start right now.
Check. Oh. Yeah, Bernardo, thanks for coming. Yeah, thank you. Um, really appreciate it. Yeah, unfortunately, that machine didn't. Yeah, the machine was working. But this going to be repeated on some upcoming portfolio events, presenting live sets and stuff. So you're going to do it there again? Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. And until then, thanks a lot. And thank bye you. Bye-bye. Really appreciate it. Okay. Cool. So, thank you. Once again. My pleasure. And uh, I will uh, put this in the bag and we'll have a beer after. Yes, yes. Yeah, and actually, as uh, the guest of the...